Mm -hmm. The Hebrew word for offering is minhar. And when I looked at the Hebrew word, you have to have some Hebrew. Come on up. Bishop spoke this morning about the importance of feeding on the word and how the word sustains you. So can't take it simple. I found three meanings that I want to share with you. The first one is, it says minhar or offering is a gift, which means that it is not forced. It can't demand a gift. When right? They told me the figure. I didn't come in my name. Come in somebody else's name. It was the exact amount. That I needed to pay for my insurance. And God says, if I gave you that car, I will provide the insurance. And he said to me, remember the car that you got? It's because I asked you for your first fruit last year. And you did not hesitate. You gave it to me. And he said, because you did not lean on your own understanding. When he said trust, it means firm belief in what God has said. And if you firmly believe in God, trust him. He's bigger than we know. And he knew everything. And if he asks you for something, there's a reason why he asks you for it because he know down the road you will need it he knows so when he asked me in 2020 for that seed he knew that in 2020 i would need the car at the right time at the right moment that's why he said in his words in psalms 138 verse 8 he said he will perfect that which concerns you because of your obedience when you obey everything come into a life i didn't question when god asked i said god you are god and because you are the one who in charge and because i set the lord always before because i I set you before me you will do everything i said god i'm not even gonna worry about how the bills go up here how that go up here i know that you will take care of because i'm trusting in you and i will not lean on my understanding and i can testify his grace is why i stand so now with the oil of praise and gratitude for all my days I can lift my hands and say I overcame That what you give and how much you give matters A while ago we had tried to purchase a home before but things just never lined up things just never came through and last year we Last year, meaning 2020, we, when it was first fruits, I remember, I think Pastor Ibellamy was here, Dr. Ibellamy was here, and he gave a sermon, and we were asked to give our first fruit. And we gave our first fruit. Even though it was small in our eyes, we still, we were obedient, and we gave our first fruit. Um, after that, they had called up for everybody, for the pastors to pray over everybody. And when we came to Pastor Olga, she started to declare and to pray over us that we would acquire a home. And within that year, remember all the years before that, things just weren't working out. And within that year, the year that we were obedient and we gave our first fruit, that was the year we were able to acquire the home. All right? And we want to give God thanks for that. Also, during that year, things just became easier. During that year, I got a promotion at work. During that year, my salary increased. And I mean, we would want to think that, yes, it's because of all the work that I did. And, but it wasn't that. That year felt different because we were obedient we were going through a pandemic and none of us lost our jobs we were able to keep our jobs able to get increases and for that we are grateful and ladies and gentlemen i just want you to know that it works the principle works you are to just be obedient it works i was also delivered from other things that i was battling with and I saw my relationship with God grew in that year. And I'm telling you people, it works. And I am just grateful. I am thankful. And uh, I just want to say thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, Pastor, for being obedient to the Lord and letting us know Number about one, first fruit. If he isn't Lord of all, he isn't Lord at all. Number two, first fruits is showing God that he is first in your life. Number three, your sacrifice 
You sacrifice what you have now for what is to come. And the Lord reminded me of Abraham and Isaac. They saw, because he had no idea that he would have another child. So it is giving God even though you do not know what tomorrow will bring. Number four, when God reviews your first fruits, he sees how much of you you are willing to give him. Who dug up some dirt but I overcame He tried to tell me what I was worth but I overcame He said you're done this time you're gonna lose your mind but Jesus stepped in right on time and held me in his arms and said that one is mine and I by the blood of the Lamb And I can testify His grace is why I stand So now with the oil of praise And gratitude for all my days I can lift my hands and say I overcame the devil dug up some dirt, but I overcame. He tried to tell me what I was worth. I overcame. He said, You're done this time, you're gonna lose your mind. Jesus stepped in right on time, and he held me in his arms and said, Girl, you're mine. Yourself now, why was Abel's offering accepted versus Cain? Anybody wonder that? Like, why? Why did God say, I don't respect one offering versus the other? Abel gave the firstling of his flock. Now, what Abel gave describes quality and quantity. So, quality and you in numbers. Cain gave an offering. That's what verse 3 says. An offering, a offering. We hear any singular of that? Anybody heard? Any singular? And so what we realized is, is that what Cain gave was not significant. There was no sacrifice. And because there was no sacrifice, God never appreciated it. And I overcame by the blood of the Lord. And I can testify His grace is why I stand So now with the oil of praise And gratitude for all my days I can lift my hands and say I overcome